Hello and welcome to week 23 of the Frank and Scrap Crochet Along. And this week we're making the thistle stitch piece. The thistle stitch, it looks like the head of a thistle flower and it's a really pretty floral style stitch. So to start this piece, you're going to need to make a foundation chain of 32. To start your thistle stitch, you're going to be making a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So your turning chain counts as your first stitch, so I've already marked the, the first chain from my hook as the first stitch. So I'm going to skip the next two stitches. Okay, so one, two, and in the next chain I'm going to make five double crochet all in the same stitch. Two, three, four, and five. So that makes a nice little five shell. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches and then make a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And two. Okay. Then we skip two stitches and then make five double crochet in the next stitch. And that's the repeat for row one. You skip two stitches, make five double crochet all in the next stitch, skip two stitches and then make a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And you repeat that all the way across the row. Okay, so after that shell, we're going to skip the next two stitches and then make a double crochet in each of the next two. And then we repeat that across the row. Skip the next two stitches, then make five double crochet all in the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next two stitches and make a double crochet in each of the last two stitches. One and don't disappear on me. There we go. And there we go. So that's row one of the thistle stitch. Okay, so for row two, we're going to turn and chain one. We're going to make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. And then we're going to make another two double crochet in that same stitch. So including your turning chain, you're going to have three stitches all in that first stitch. So it's like half a shell. Okay, so apart from the stitches at the end of each row, the rest of the thistle stitch is made between stitches. Okay, so after we made these next two, we're going to skip these two stitches here. And then we're going to make a double crochet on either side of this middle double crochet in that shell. So get between the stitches between two and three of the double crochet and make a double crochet. And then we're going to make another double crochet on the other side of that stitch. So between stitches between the third and fourth double crochet of that shell. So it's going to look like this. Two posts worked in between the stitches on either side of that middle double crochet of the shell in the row below. Okay, now we're going to skip the next three double crochet. So the next two double crochet in that shell. Skip the first double crochet in these set of two here. But working in between those two double crochet you're going to make five double crochet all in between the stitches. 
three, four, and five. So the idea is that this is the thistle head and this is the stalk that it sits in. And that's the thistle stitch there. So now we're going to repeat. Skip the first two stitches of this shell and between the second and th third stitches, okay, so working on either side of this middle stitch of the fan, make a double crochet on each side of it. So a double crochet there, go to the other side and between the stitches make another double crochet. Now skip to the double crochet pair and in between those two stitches make five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Skip to the next middle of the shell and either side of that third double crochet in that shell make a double crochet between the stitches. And you'll carry on this until you reach the end of your row. Okay, so when you get to the end of the row you're going to make three double crochet this time using the loops. Okay, so into that last stitch of the row make three double crochet. And that is row two of the thistle. On to row three. We're going to turn and chain one. Make a double crochet turning chain in the first stitch. So because it's the first stitch of the row, we're working into the loops. But for the rest of the row, apart from the very final stitch, we're working between the stitches again. So it's essentially the same pattern as the row below, it's just offset. So we're working double crochets into the shells and fans into the posts, between the posts. So same stitch order, it's just offset. So after your turning chain, you're going to make another um, double crochet between the first and second stitch. So this is going to be the stitch after that turning chain and we'll just make a double crochet between the stitches. Now skip to the first two double crochet posts and make five double crochet between the posts. Two, three, four and five. Skip to the next shell and make a double crochet between on either side of that middle double crochet in the shell. So remember always working between the stitches. Then skip to the pair of double crochet and make five double crochet between the two double crochet stitches. So it's exactly the same as row below, it's just that we're starting in a slightly different place and offsetting everything. But it's worked in the exact same way. Skip to that middle double crochet of the shell and make a double crochet on either side of it between the stitches. And carry this on across the row. So the final fan, the shell of this stitch, is five double crochet between those two. Double crochet in the row below. Then to finish this row, you're going to be making a double crochet between that second double crochet there and the last stitch. And then to finish the row, make a double crochet in that last stitch. Okay, so don't forget that you've got one more stitch to make between the stitches. 
here before you make your double crochet, just as we started the row. And that's row three of the thistle. So to complete this stitch, you're going to be repeating rows two and three. To complete your thistle stitch piece, you are going to be repeating rows two and three until you have 23 rows in total. After you finish row 23, you can cut off and weave in your ends, and then it's time to join this piece to the rest of your Franken scrap. To see where this piece fits along with the full joining instructions, click the link beneath this video. It will take you to the blog post where you've got the layout and where this piece fits. So once you've joined, that's week 23 complete. And don't forget, the Facebook group is there if you need any help or have any questions or just want to chat to your fellow Franken scrappers. So thank you for joining in and I shall see you next week for the next piece. Bye for now.